Detective Comics number 27, cover date of May 1939, published by DC Comics. The first appearance of Batman, the world's most popular and recognized superhero. The number two most valuable comic book of all time, and even for a short period, was ranked as the number one most valuable comic of all time back in 1990 after the success of the first Batman movie. The character Batman has been in continuous publication since 1939 and is the comic book character that has seen more stories and comics printed than any other comic character in history. The most recognizable and popular superhero worldwide, Batman has now appeared in 1,000 different American comic book titles in over 5,000 issues and appears in over 35,000 different comic stories. Batman all starts with Detective Comics number 27. Batman had a few extremely popular periods during his career where Batman was indeed the best-selling comic book character, including 1966 during the TV show Craze, and as recent as 2013 through 2017, where the title was the best-selling modern comic character in North America. When Detective Comics number 27 was released with a May 1939 cover date, Superman was the only major superhero on the stands, There was, of course, the other less popular heroes, such as the Phantom, the Arrow, and the Crimson Avenger. The striking cover by artist Bob Kane made a huge impact at this time. It's now taken its place as one of the most famous covers in the history of comic books. Bob Kane and writer Bill Finger, generally credited these days as a co-creator of the character, produced a hero to rival Superman without imitating The Batman appeared in a six-page story that also introduced the character of Commissioner Gordon. The second-to-last panel reveals that the mysterious figure was in fact Bruce Wayne introduced earlier in the story. In early 1939, the success of Superman in action comics prompted the editors at National Comics Publications, the future DC Comics, to request more superheroes for its titles. In response, Bob Kane created The Batman. Collaborator Bill Finger recalled that Kane had an idea for a character called Batman. Finger drawed inspiration from the pulp heroes like Doc Savage, The Shadow, Dick Tracy, and Sherlock Holmes to make this character a master sleuth. The first Batman story is called The Case of the Chemical Syndicate. This important story features the first appearance of The Batman, Bruce Wayne, Commissioner Gordon, yet not named. We've got the Gotham City Police Department, first appearance but not yet named. Gotham City, first appearance but not yet named. Apex Chemical Corporation is mentioned only but not seen. We also get the Crane Residence, the Gordon Residence, the Stryker Laboratory, the first appearance of Wayne Manor, the first appearance of the Batsuit, and of Batman's utility belt. This historic comic had a 10-cent cover price, 68 pages, and officially went on sale on March 30th, 1939. The Batman is featured on the cover, drawn by Bob Kane, featuring Batman in this early superhero cover. This would first be reprinted in the book Batman from the 30s to the 70s, released in 1971. The Case of the Chemical Syndicate is the six-page story featuring the debut of The Batman, written by Bill Finger, with art by Robert Kane. This early superhero story features Bruce Wayne, Commissioner James Gordon, and some villains that appear only one time. In his first case, The Batman investigates the murder of a chemical tycoon, discovering that one of his partners murdered him to steal the secret contracts that would leave him as the sole owner of the Apex Chemical Corporation. This story would first be reprinted in Batman number 200 in 1968 and also in Detective Comics 387 in 1969. The Shadow novel Partners in Peril from November 1st, 1936, written by Theodore Tinsley, was Bill Finger's inspiration for this first Batman story. Detective Comics number 27, historic comic, has been reprinted in its entirety in 1974 in famous first edition C-28, an oversized treasury comic published by DC Comics. This came out 35 years after the original comic. So having it, the entire contents reprinted, we find uh, you can read all the contents, such as Speed Saunders' Ace Investigator, a six-page story written by Gardner Fox with art by Fred Gardiner, 
Spy is a six-page story from the team of Siegel Schuster, their adventure tale featuring Bart Regan and Congressman Sneed Little, Booker, and Stoker. It's, of course, reprinted in famous first edition C-28. The Crimson Avenger is another superhero in this issue, written and drawn by Jim Chambers, and also features Wing and Abe Gold. And the Crimson tracks down a killer who murdered one Abe Gold for Welshing on a $100,000 bet. This is also reprinted in famous first edition C-28. Death on the Airwaves is a two-page text story written by Gardner Fox under the alias Paul Dean with art by Fred Gardiner, featuring the characters Richard Drew and President Benson. The Mysterious Dr. Fu Manchu is a four-page story written by Sax Romer and adapted by Leo Omealia, who also did the art, featuring the characters Reverend J.D. Eltham, Griba Eltham, and Dr. Fu Manchu is the villain. Flatfoot Flanagan is a one-page story drawn by Paul Gustafson in this humor tale. And Slam Bradley is a nine-page story from the team of Siegel and Schuster, featuring Slam Bradley and Shorty Morgan. And this issue also features a one-page ad for All American Comics number 2 and Movie Comics 2, which were on the newsstands at that time, from All American Comics. Heritage Auctions is the world's largest collectibles auctioneer, with 40 collectible categories and nearly 1 million online bidder members. Whether you're an experienced collector hunting for that elusive item, or a novice considering the sale of a valuable family heirloom, put the expertise and market strength of Heritage Auctions to work for you. Visit us today at HA.com to find out for yourself why Heritage Auctions is the world's largest collectibles auctioneer. <laughs> 